Hello everyone, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is Mike as usual. And today we are working on a little project. Okay, what's the project, so to say? I want to buy to build a second boiler. And my plan is to increase my steam production. I know I'm not using the whole potential of this, this steam, but I, I will need the extra energy. And I believe that the extra uh, wood coming here is more than enough to feed at least two of these uh, boilers. I'm going to try a high pressure boiler and if it doesn't work I'll downgrade to a low pressure boiler and I'll use the boilers in another boiler project. But for now this is my idea. I, open, I opened up this area here so this is where I want to place my boiler. And I've already started uh, building. Uh, this is dangerous. I, mean, I know I'm really almost out of of juice in my jetpack. Let me just charge it up. So, meanwhile, my coke oven and my my blast furnace have been working non-stop. So I already have I don't know about two and a half stacks of of steel, which I'll need. And then we are going to use our plate bending machine for the first time, which will be nice, since we built it on the last episode without, well, too much purpose. But it was planned. My idea was really to to work on this project of the second boiler. I want to increase my power production as much as I can because I want I will soon need higher higher power machines and. Uh, with my current setup, I won't be able to generate enough energy. I already have my biofuel setup over there, and that's why I'm I'm not worried about well using too much of my too much of my uh, high pressure boiler. And this is awesome. Okay, so I I'm going to use a high pressure boiler. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm just not completely sure of how, uh, of if I will use it on the liquid or on the solid uh, fuel boiler. But that's the next object objective. So for now, I'm going to quickly build my pipings here. So I want to pick up. Yeah, this looks good. So what I'm building here is a pipe that comes all the way from my chest around here and into the other uh, goes all the way into the uh, the place where I want the other boiler to be. But I want to place three more iron chests here just to be sure that uh, well this first one always is. Uh, is always filled. So the idea here is to place three more uh, chests back here. So uh, let me just place this one here, this one here, and this one here. So this looks better to me now. And the other, the other point here is. To go all the way to this side, okay. I have a piping, forgot about that, is already done. And once it gets here, I'll need to place more chests. So I need to just place these two, and now I have. Okay, so I'm going to add here a few. Blocks below as well, and why not do the same there? Let's have the same. Like this, I'll have the. I can place now one, two, and three. So now I can place my chests like this. One, two, three. Okay, so this is already connected all the way back here. And they are already overflowing, so I guess I will be just okay. 
So all I have to do now is connect these. So one, two, one, two, and like this. So now all the wood that I make will go and might fill my chest across here. Now we need to make our boiler. I don't know if I did the other boiler on camera. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but well, I might have done it. I don't remember anymore. <clears throat> but well, I'm going to do it on camera anyway. It's quite simple actually. So <clears throat> all we need is fire charges, and this is really simple. You just need charcoal, then powder, and blaze powder. <clears throat> we get nine. We need nine for the base, and then. We need a furnace, bricks, and a fire charge. Great. So we need nine of those. So I have here enough materials for nine furnaces. This so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. We need a fire charge, and the rest are these bricks. Yeah, exactly. So we need nine of these. Okay. Next step, we'll need water. Now I have an aqueous accumulator here, and I want to place it where I want my new boiler to be. So let's do it this way and like this. And okay. So now it's filling it up really, really, really slowly. But I have those two water source blocks here, which I'm going to steal right now. Oh, great! Great, awesome! I have an infinite water source now, which is also really great. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to place. Okay, didn't disappear, got out for a moment. So all I need now is some water around the around my aqueous accumulator now that, and now that I know that this works this was a nice discovery I didn't know that uh, pipes were able to to block water from passing through them ok, I'm al always learning something new so I'm going to place yeah, I, I actually don't need that much water <coughs> but since I'm doing it let's do it at least the proper way So. One on each corner, like this. No, like this. Okay. Now I have the my solid fueled fire boxes, so I need to place them like this. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, I already have some wood planks here. I wonder what happened to the wood planks on my chests around here. This one is still full. This one is also full. Right. This is working fine. So it is possible to have a surplus <coughs> of uh, a lot. Let's call it, lot, call it like that. A lot of uh, wooden planks. So I'm just not completely sure if it will be enough to keep the other the other boiler working but let's let let's uh, let I'm going to let these chests be filled up and then until I start it up. But first we need to do something else. So now we have our our fireboxes. <clears throat> now we need the boilers and I want a high pressure boiler. So boiler and there is the low pressure that I have and this is a high pressure boiler. And it's made by using two steel plates. And you get one steel plate per iron ingot. Like this. But per steel ingot. So, and you get, yeah. So I need two of these. I need two iron steel bars per block. Since I want to build four levels one, two, three, four. I'll need four times nine. That's 
a total of 36 times 272 steel bars and I'm pretty sure that I have them around here so yeah I, I have 72 so 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 okay there we are so I present to you the plate bending machine and the plate bending machine is really simple to use you just put your ingots inside it and let it process the steel plates and well doesn't do much more than this and it will, and it will take a while to process so I'm going to make all of my steel plates okay I'm done filling up my chest down there I think that my my steel planks should be ready by now here they are right so now all I have to do is the, my high pressure boilers which are fairly easy to do so I'm just going to show you and I'm lagging a lot I really thought of restarting my game because this is too much for me at least. Okay, like this. And you get 35, 36 high pressure boilers. Okay. Those are the, the cubes that you have to build on top of the, the fireboxes. And this is. I'm lagging a bit too much. Okay. Now that I have my high pressure boilers and my lag problem solved, I'm going to build it. So the way to build it is you get to your, sol to your solid field fireboxes and all you have to do is place them like this. Okay, I'm not going to place this one to avoid the machine to be complete because it can be built just with one level. So now I can try and do it like this. I don't know how it will work. It might blow up. You know, let's give it a shot. It's filling up with water really quickly, actually. Might put some charcoal here. Yeah, the water is keeping up, seems to me, at least. The charcoal burns up quite quickly. I might get, grab some, some extra charcoal now, because I want... Well, charcoal is a little bit more efficient than wood. And since I have enough to spare... By the way, a lot of these burns... Yeah, they're great. So... It was weird. I thought I saw a, a block of stone coming towards me. It was really, really weird. But no. So, now what I'm going to do is place some charcoal here and try to. fill everything up with as much as I can I don't know if this will be enough and I'll probably have to speed up my video because water the water is still filling up I'm going to have some problems with water I should get something to speed it up a little bit more. And I think I have just the thing to do it. Maybe put these. I have some. I don't know if they will work, but I'm pretty sure I have some water capsules here. I wonder if these will do it. If they do it, then I'll just go and pump 
provide them with these. And they are really pretty to look, so if this helps, then I'll do it because I'm scared. I don't want this to, to blow up, honestly. Hello, and don't lag on me, please. Then I'm lagging. Really a lot. Wait. I was not lagging. And it did help. Great. Okay. I'm okay. I helped the water. Man, I was being a really new, a real noob. <laughs> well, I didn't know that it worked that way, to be honest. But no. Now, just to be sure, I want to place as much wood as I want, as I can here, and let's pray. It might not work. I know that the start is pretty aggressive. So... It should be at least pretty aggressive. But I don't know if it will do. But I probably have to cut this video in small parts and show you how it goes. In terms of water, I know that I'm okay now. Because uh, it has filled up, and I've well using this Akio Supreme Weather system. I've never had any problems with any steam boiler. I'm just, I'm just not sure if it will do in terms of of pure uh, raw materials to burn. I'm just not sure about that. But this will take a while, so I might keep you up with some well updates regarding what I'm doing and how it's working. Uh, and cut the video here into small parts. That's what I do best because it will be a really long video like this. And that's not the actual plan, so to say. So I guess I will cut in here, cut here indeed. And I'll be back anytime soon. I had to show you this, I made a little change here, so before I had all of this only powered by the Sterling engine and then I connected this to my network. I had already a redstone energy conduit and uh, the wood started coming out double the speed. Uh, which was something I had planned previously, but I never remembered it. Okay, this is working now. I have it on full temperature and full steam production. I'm not making that much out of it yet, but it's working. Uh, I changed a few things around here. So first, uh, my wood production from my Steve Scarts farm was not able to cope with the massive increase in wood in wood consumption. So I need I had to change it a bit a little bit. I'm just going to show you. I don't I didn't make it make this in a very scientific way. But uh, I made it a bit more compact, so I used up a lot of tree spaces that I had and tried to increase the number of trees here. I'm not using any bone meal yet, but that could also increase production. I also dug a few a few blocks into the wall so that I had a little bit, a bit more space. And see what happens now? I have like these huge blocks of trees like this, so it increased my production. I was I think my my tr my 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 cart was arriving at the cargo manager with three to four stacks, and now it's arriving with six or seven stacks. So it's nearly I nearly doubled its production just by changing a little bit the, the tracks. I had to get more tracks from an abandoned mine shaft, but the space that it takes it's more or less the same. Maybe a few more blocks around, but not not that much. The same, nearly the same space and double the production. That's important. Just a question of 
putting your your tracks in the right way. Second, after I changed that, I had a lot of wood coming here, and my production. Remember that this is all was all powered by the Sterling engine, and my production was not uh, able to cope with the output that I needed. So first thing, I connected this directly to my energy. Uh, well, the energy that I'm making with steam engines, that uh, with the steam that I had in that thing, and uh, this machine started using the full two my uh, Minecraft joules per tick that it can, and it was producing at an awesome speed. I think I shown that on video, but I'm not sure. It was really amazing, and uh, with that, I was able to have enough wood to keep up with the wood wood consumption. Of this boiler, that was nice. There were two problems with it. First, it would overflow really, really fast here, so there was too much. There were too many plants being produced. And second, and that's also important, this part here. I was not able to have enough food uh, here to uh, to keep up with that production. So suddenly, I was nearly. Already I had this chest empty, this uh, barrel empty, this empty, and, and the golem was already grabbing stuff here. So, well, my, my buffer was getting pretty low, so I I did a little trick, so I can show you that. I put a redstone uh, energy cell, I think that's what's the, what they are called. If not, you'll see, yeah. And here... In the middle, so it's accepting all input that comes. It's not an issue, and it's only output in one Minecraft tree, and that was enough for the sawmill to start producing a little bit slower, but still fast enough to uh, keep up with my boiler, and uh, not too fast in order to be faster than the, my Steve's cart. So this was a nice average point. I know I'm having a little bit of excess wood here this will slowly really slowly fill up and then later on i'll think what to do with the excess now i'm just pumping them into the subsidian pipe and re-inputting it from that side i have a an iron pipe here that pulls it up inside that's simple so more or less i have my project done so this is already working now i need to start using all my energy and i'll probably start doing a lot of new machines and the other thing that I need to think about is what to do with all these excess planks see I need, already have all of these wood plank, wooden planks and when I get here it has only used I've created a surplus of uh, one two nearly four stacks so I still have a, concert, a considerable surplus here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll think about it anytime soon. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little project. Uh, I'll be back soon with more videos. And see you next time. Bye-bye.